If you love cereal and you're wondering if it's even possible to enjoy cereal while you're trying to lose weight, while you're trying to get healthy, while you're trying to get, it, get in better shape, whatever goal it is, today I'm gonna be answering that question for you. And spoiler alert, yes, you can have cereal. I'm gonna be showing you a step-by-step -step live demonstration on how you can make the most optimal cereal for your weight loss or body transformation goals. So make sure you watch the video till the end. So today's video topic was inspired by a question that I received, which is, is it unhealthy to have cereal while you're trying to lose weight? And I can definitely understand where the confusion, I can see the confusion within that question because uh, you know, with, with today's uh, you know, fad dieting, you know, low, low carb is pushed a lot. And you know, a lot of carb-based foods get unjustifiably demonized. One of them is cereal, of course. So many people you know, get into their heads that you can't have cereal because of this or that. And the question shouldn't be so much is, you know, is X food healthy or unhealthy? Is you know, X food bad or good for you? The question you should be asking yourself is, is this food optimal or is this food suboptimal? And if it's a suboptimal food, then you need to find a way to make it more optimal. Right now, we're gonna go to the live demonstration. I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step step how you can make you know, an optimal-based cereal. And it doesn't matter what cereal you, cereal you pick. What matters is like the little habits and the little things that you do to make it optimal. And you know, spoiler alert, I'm gonna you know, jump ahead a little bit. One of the most important things when it comes to you know, making something optimal is you have to get in the habit of measuring everything. A lot of people just pour you know, their, their, their creamer into their coffee, they just pour cereal, and they never take into account the calories, they never take into account the amount that they're eating. So that's gonna be, I want you to pay attention as we're going you know, through the live demonstration, I want you to pay attention to like the little things. It's those little things that make you know, lifelong weight loss possible. It's not the, you know, the five day detox, it's not the, you know, the three shakes a day program that you're gonna follow. It's little habits, uh, like the ones I'm gonna teach you here soon, that make weight loss and healthy living possible. So one of the reasons that I that I picked this the cereal, and you know one of the one of the things that you know I want to point out is that the cereal doesn't as much matter, but what matters the most is what's in here, which is on the nutrition label. And this is one of the th one of the reasons that this cereal is pretty optimal for, you know, for weight loss or for, uh, you know, for you know. You know, if you want cereal and you're trying to, you know, get into better shape, you're trying to get healthy. It's not so much that the, 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 you know, you know, Brand Flakes is like a special cereal, but it's what makes, you know, what you see in here that makes it optimal. So you could have picked, you know, uh, Fruit Loops. You could have picked, you know, you know, Fruity Pebbles. You know, you know, Honey Bunches of Oats. Whatever it is, but what really matters is what's in here. So uh, this is the very first thing you want to pay attention to. So in here, you'll see that one cup equals 120 calories. And one of the reasons that I like this specific cereal is because it has a lot of fiber. And of course, fiber is really good for your digestive system. Um, it helps you stay satiated. It really it helps you stay full. And it's just overall good for your health. But one of, the, one of the really cool things that people don't realize is like if you have something that has fiber, so like let's say that it has 31 grams of carb and you minus the seven grams from the 31, this one is actually going to be 24 grams of carbohydrate because fiber doesn't actually count as a, as a carb. So this, th this number is even gonna be you know, slightly less than 120. So it's one of the reasons I picked this because it's, it's, a, it's a low amount of calories for a big amount. And like I said, earlier one of the big things that you want to get used to one of the you know one of the one of the primary habits is you want to get in the habit of measuring everything so i'm not just going to pour the cereal into the bowl i'm actually going to measure it and if you're trying to lose weight and if you've been stuck at a plateau and you feel like you know you're not making any progress try this out for a week measure and weigh everything out and i promise you that's what's going to get you past that plateau because like i said a lot of people just you know measure with their eyes or you know they think they're measuring something properly but they're not so we're just gonna, you know, do one cup of uh, of cereal. We're gonna put it in here, and look at how much that gives me. And we're not finished. You know, we want to make sure that this tastes sweet because it, you know this particular brand of cereal doesn't have a lot of, you know, doesn't have a lot of sweet to it. If you do another cereal, if you do, uh, you know, another one that has more sugar, then you probably won't eat it. But you know, we're gonna, we, you know, we, we have to, we have several options here. One of the ones that I like is sugar-free vanilla. So you can use this, or you can use, you know stevia you can use erythritol but in this case we're going to be using sugar-free vanilla and artificial sweeteners you know there's a lot of controversy on you know are artificial sweeteners good or bad for you so if you remember what we said earlier you know there's no such thing as good or bad it's optimal versus suboptimal 
So is sugar-free vanilla more optimal than regular vanilla? Of course it is, because this one's gonna have less calories. So if you, if you wanna think of this on a scale of one to 100, uh, you know, regular vanilla being 100 bad, you know, and again, that's just a, a artificial word that we're making up, then this one would be a 10. It's, it's gonna be way less, so we're picking the more optimal uh, option. So, like I said, you wanna get in the habit of measuring everything. So, you know, two tablespoons equals zero calories. You know, even though this is zero calories, I still wanna get in the habit of measuring everything. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon of sugar-free vanilla. And then next, what we're gonna do is we're going to add the milk. And this is, this is where the real optimal part comes, you know, comes in. Because if you're using regular milk, uh, regular milk, even if you're using skim milk, skim milk is gonna be about 80 or 90 calories per cup. This one is only 30 calories per cup. And I think that's one of the biggest hacks when it comes to how you can have a healthy weight loss cereal is, or you know, for whatever goal you have, is that you wanna make sure that you use unsweetened almond milk. And one of the reasons that, of course, that I'm using the artificial sweetener, whether that's through sugar-free vanilla or through uh, you know, stevia or whether it's through erythritol or monk fruit is because this doesn't have any particular sweetness to it. So, but you know, this is definitely a better choice than regular milk. Now, of course, you know, the disclaimer here is if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to get in better shape, you know, if, if you're a kid, you should be, you know, of course, drinking regular milk, but if you're already a, a grown adult and, and you're trying to, you know, get into better shape, get healthier, you want to use unsweetened almond milk when it comes to preparing cereal. Like I said, this is the big hack when it comes to cereal. This is what's going to save you, whether you, like I said, whether you use, uh, you know, you know, Fruity Pebbles, co you know, Cocoa Puffs, whatever cereal, cereal you decide to use, this is gonna be the big hack right here. And like I said, I'm not just gonna pour it in here, I'm gonna use the same cup that I use for the cereal so that I know that I'm getting the right amount. And you'll be surprised when you start measuring things, uh, like how, how little or how much you can actually get away with a particular item. And I think this particular amount here is, is perfect. Uh, and we're not finished, we're gonna add more volume to this. We're gonna add some fruit to the cereal. We're, gonna add a, we're going to add a banana. And a banana is only about 80 calories. So, so far this cereal is only gonna end up being about 300 calories. And it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be extremely satiating. It's gonna have a lot of volume in it. And heck, you know, even if you wanna add like another half a cup, you're not really adding that much. So in case you're not, you know, satisfied with this, if you're, you know, a little bit heavier and you want more cereal, you can even do up to two cups. So yeah, so I'm just adding, you know, some banana in there. And then I'm gonna add some blueberries just to add more volume, you know, a quarter cup measured. A quarter cup of blueberries is only gonna be 20 calories and it's just gonna add more volume to it. And like I said, this cereal at, at, at its, at its most, it's only gonna be at about 300 calories. And, you know, look at that. Now, if you were to have like a regular cereal and you're not paying attention to what you're eating, you're not measuring things, you're putting real sugar in there, you're putting regular milk, this can easily, easily be 600 calories. But we're only doing half of that today. So, like I said, instead of thinking healthy versus unhealthy, try to think optimal versus suboptimal, which is exactly what we did here with the cereal. All right, so hopefully you guys liked that video. If you did, make sure that you leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more future content like this. I'm going to be doing more live demonstrations like this one. And in the comment section, if you could do me a huge favor, let me know what your favorite type of cereal is. I want to know what is your favorite cereal. My favorite cereal is Cocoa Puffs. I love to eat Cocoa Puffs. Uh, I think it's one of my you know guilty pleasures, but like I showed you in the video, there's an optimal and a suboptimal way to do things. So yeah, let me know what your favorite cereal is and I'll see you in the next video.